Howdy, how y'all doing? This is George Phyllis Ramberm. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm up in the mountains, a nice little rainy day, but that's okay. I got something special to do for us. I'm gonna go ahead and cook a Dutch oven pizza. Yeah, I got a great pizza dough recipe from Alicia from Al's Epic Family Life. And she has a site that she does all kinds of fun cooking. Go visit it. Now today I'm gonna to take that dough, I'm gonna put it in a Dutch oven, put a lot of crap on it, cook it up, and if you're interested in looking at this Dutch oven pizza, come join me. What you see me prepping here is what I consider a Dutch oven and which I use up in the mountains. This Dutch oven is a cast iron heavy duty pot with a lid designed for browning meat and veggies, but I'm gonna use it for baking. And it's great to bake on a fire with this type of Dutch oven. I made up Alicia's pizza dough at home, wrapped it up in a bag, put it in the refrigerator to bring it up into the mountains. And now it's time for me to put it into the Dutch oven and then let it rise for about 30 minutes. Or well, at least that's what Alicia says. This 30 minutes allows me to cut up things like the fungi, Agaricus pisporus, and right out of my garden, homegrown bell peppers. Delicious. Also for a great topping are some freshly picked cherry tomatoes, yellow and red. Now let's go ahead and get about 35 to 40 briquettes going. Yeah, so we can heat up that Dutch oven. Since that dough has been rolled out, and now we've given it time to rise, it's time to top the pizza. Now making our own pizza sauce right on top of the dough, using a can of tomato sauce evenly spread out, we're gonna go ahead and use Terry's secret herbs and spices bought directly from Winco. And then we're gonna add some additional oregano, garlic, and onion powder. Wow, that should Italianize it. Don't forget to check those briquettes. Make sure they're getting hot. Go ahead and add your cheeses. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and use cheddar and mozzarella. Some people, for additional flavor, starts adding Parmesan also with it. Maybe to give it that Italian twist. I didn't. I just want it to be a Chicago pizza. I made this pizza a mega pepperoni pizza. Now, if you want a vegetarian, Use some vegan plant-based pepperoni. That's a good substitute. Now cram on some edible mushrooms. That's gonna be a joy. Don't use those magic mushrooms. Save those for a different time. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on some peppers. Now we're gonna put on some bell peppers and some hot wax peppers. Now you can substitute those wax peppers for some jalapenos. Anything to spice it up. You know, our lives need to be spicy. And certainly my pizza does too. For a good combination, olives and tomatoes are a must. A good rule for Dutch oven cooking a pizza, 12 briquettes on the bottom. It allows the dough to rise and to make it a little bit brown and crunchy on the bottom, just how I like it. Then use about 20 to 25 briquettes on top. This will make the Dutch oven into an oven. At 10 minutes, we're gonna check the pizza to make sure it's cooking good. We may have to add or subtract briquettes based on the condition of that pizza. Now that takes some skill. At about the 20 to 25 minute point, we're gonna check the pizza and if it looks good, we're gonna go ahead and remove the briquettes. And we're gonna do that final review in a minute. Anticipation, it's making me wait. Waiting. Voila, what a great looking combination pizza. Can't wait to eat it, so let's do that. Notice this great pizza dough from Elisa's pizza dough recipe. Fluffy on top, of course with those briquettes on bottom, it's a little bit crunchy. I love it that way. What a magnificent Dutch oven pizza. Eating it hit that spot. So when you're in the mountains and want something hot and warm, take the time and cook up a Dutch oven pizza. Now I'm not gonna show myself eating it, but certainly the pizza was easily gone. As I sit here in the mountains enjoying this beautiful cool weather, it's about 60 degrees, drizzling a little bit, and I'm sitting on a wet log, 
I've really enjoyed making this Dutch oven pizza for you. Elise's pizza recipe was nice and fluffy and made a good Chicago style pizza. Now I want to thank each one of you for watching and joining us today. And if you really enjoyed this type of uh, content, do me a favor, subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me two thumbs up, because this is George the Phyllis Rambler wanting some more Dutch oven cooking, signing off.